All right, guys, so if you guys remember, I shared this comp with you guys yesterday with Sorbet as well as Eclair comboed with Caramel Arrow to do a massive amount of damage to the enemies utilizing the Enchanted Robe. However, I told you guys yesterday with the video that I was going to share a Alphagato build that is very similar to this. So instead of using a Sorbet Shark, you are going to be using Alphagato here. And instead of the Jolly Watch, you're actually using the Scythe right over here. So let me show you guys uh, the toppings for this team right here. And the reason why this team is going to be very, very strong right now inside of the arena and what particular team you do want to use this team against in order to have the best result. So going over the toppings real quick first, it's going to be five of the Swift Chocolate once again for Financier, which is going to allow her to shield and buff up Caramel Arrow before she goes back and starts shooting her arrow. So you do need that 17.3% cooldown in order to maximize uh, that shield as well as the buff for Caramel Arrow. You do want to focus on the damage resist as well. And the next one is going to be the same with Caramel Arrow 5 of the Syrian Raspberry here, focusing on the attack speed and the damage resist. And then of course, having a little bit of extra crit and attack is going to help as well. And the next one is going to be Alphagato. Alphagato also going to be using 5 of the Syrian Raspberry Asbury here, focusing on the damage assist. Of course, if you have extra uh, cooldown a little bit, is okay as well as attack is going to be fine as well. Next one is going to be Eclair. This topping set is a bit conflicting for me uh, just because I'm a little bit uh, in between on the cooldown and damage resist. As you guys can see, my damage resist is only 21.9% and my cooldown is 19.3%. So the best result for Eclair is going to be having around 22.3% in order to have a 3 second start. However, that's not going to be possible for uh, my Eclair right now just because I don't have the amount of damage resist as well as cooldown. So this is going to be the best uh, set that I have as of right now um, and I'm going to be working with it and if, if it doesn't work out too well I'm actually going to be sacrificing a little bit on the cooldown and focusing on a little bit more on the damage resist and the next one is going to be our cream unicorn cookie same as yesterday it's five of the solid almond focusing on damage resist and of course if you guys have extra cooldown that will definitely help out as well so here we go guys this is going to be the team that we're going to be using and once again instead of the jelly watch we are going with the scythe in order to to deal more damage within the beginning of the round to kill off one particular enemy in this case and that is going to be Espresso. So this team is going to be great against Espresso team because not only is your Alphagato going to be targeting Espresso, Eclair is also able to do a ton more damage utilizing the curse from Alphagato skill. So quickly just going over Alphagato skill here, you're going to be able to see here, curse target cannot receive buff. That means that the Espresso on the other team is not able to utilize Financier's shield as well as the debuff right here, Amplified Debuff, which means that the weakness debuff that Eclair is able to do is going to be amplified as well. And on top of that, Camel Arrow's debuff is also amplified. So that is the reason why we are using Alphagato here. One more thing though, you have to make sure that the attack stat right over here, this attack stat of Caramel Arrow needs to be higher than Alphagato. If your Alphagato's attack stat is higher than Caramel Arrow, then Financier is actually going to be targeting and shielding Alphagato instead of Caramel Arrow. So keep that in mind. Make sure that the stats are okay. And once again, the uh, attack speed needs to be highest for Caramel Arrow as well as Cream Unicorn. So that was a lot of explanation. Let's go into the real arena battle now. And let me show you guys exactly how strong this team can be against certain comps. All right, guys, so something like this right here, you see one middle missing here. Uh, this is probably going to be an espresso or maybe a clotted cream. So we're going to be going up against this team here with our team right here and see how well we do. So another bonus here was that they did have the monocle. So if the monocle actually procs here while the curse is on the espresso, then of course that burst damage is going to come out. But you guys saw right there the Alphagato curse and then the weakness debuff from our Eclair. And on top of that, Caramel Arrow, uh, Arrow was actually able to kill off Espresso before he was able to do the second or he use his second uh, skill. So definitely just pretty much getting rid of Espresso in the beginning to just, uh, you know, have the upper hand with the damage with Alphagato, Eclair, and Caramel Arrow on our team. Espresso really just becomes countered here and it's not able to do anything. So even almost less damage. Actually, it was less damage than Finish here in this case because he wasn't able to do anything, right? So he's not able to utilize the, uh, you know, the attack buff from the arena timer or any of that from the beginning because we just target him first. 
Alright guys, another team over here is going to be probably Purple Yam, Financier, Dark Account, and Espresso here. So let's go into it and see how well we do. So another reason why uh, Afogado targeting Espresso is so important here is because of the fact that, you know, Afogado... Uh, being able to target Espresso and getting him out of the way first um, is going to actually give us the upper hand because, you know, Espresso is able to deal a lot more damage to targets that are not able to get stunned. So in this case, Camoera, who is going to be our main damage dealer, if that is the case, then, you know, um, you know we're not going to have any more damage. So that's the reason why being able to get rid of Espresso is going to be the number one thing and the best thing we can do with a team like this. Alright, so Camer uh, Cream Unicorn also on top of that, even though Alfagato and Eclair are using that Sitting Raspberry as well as uh, Swift Chocolate, uh, you know, Cream Unicorn is able to heal uh, their HP if it gets a bit lower and allow them to at least use their skill once or twice more. Uh, so that really helps out. And 5.3 million damage by Camel Arrow here, guys. A ton of damage being dealt against a triple tank, Espresso, and a Vampire. This was a really common team uh, shown last season. And on top of that, if you guys can uh, replace our uh, Wildberry with Camel Arrow, that's another team that's very uh, unique. But you guys can see right here, just targeting Espresso out of the way and getting him out prevented him from doing so much damage. All right, guys, another Espresso team here with the Insignia this time. We're still going to go into it whenever we see an espresso we do want to utilize this team and uh take advantage of killing off the espresso right away so this has uh been a comp uh before however instead of uh you know using cream unicorn last time it was actually herb before the release of cream unicorn because herb was able to actually uh you know purify the uh bleeding debuff from vampire and things like that however with the introduction of cream unicorn it actually made the team comp even stronger because now we don't need to worry about our cookies dying uh, at a low HP because Cream Unicorn is able to heal them back up right there. Look at that. Camel Arrow is so low and with Financier and Cream Unicorn's heal, it just went up right away. So that's the reason why this team comp has become even more stronger and uh you know it's just gonna be one of the comps that are going to be used to target uh, certain comps like once again the espressos if you see them at any time so right there again espresso was able to be killed off right away within the first uh, skill rotation and then you know he's not able to do anything so it's basically a 5v4 right off the bat all right guys so we see another one here i'm still gonna go into it with this team here so what i think is gonna be a caramel arrow and an espresso um, I can be wrong, but we'll still go into it and see how well we do, even if there is no real espresso in that team. Here we go. So it is an espresso, so we actually did uh, manage to, uh, you know, choose the right team here. Uh, so espresso is probably going to be able to, yep, right there with Caramel Arrow's burst right there. Uh, you know, espresso was just gone. And then we are able to utilize the curse one more time before Alfagato. No, actually Alfagato is not even going to die because of Cream Unicorn right there. Uh, so, you know, there's it's just so strong right now. I mean, uh, just being able to target one particular cookie and then getting them out of the way before they're able to do anything, it's just so powerful right now. Uh, and you guys just saw, you know, Espresso just disappearing. All right, once again here, Financier uh, missing right here. Missing probably going to be an Espresso again. So here we go. We're just going to keep using this team. So uh, the best way, however, in order for you guys to figure out whether they're using espresso or not is whether they have that middle cookie missing and if their attack is extremely high. So in majority of the Master 2 and Master 1 cases, it's going to be around 1.4 million. And then in the Grandmaster area, it's usually going to be around 1.6 to 1.7 million. And that is because Espresso is going to be utilizing for, uh, the full uh, Searing Raspberry build. Uh, so the full on attack uh, power is going to be over around 500,000 to 600,000 for Espresso. And on top of that, if uh, you guys are utilizing this team inside of the Grandmaster, at least for the pure vanilla server, then you know. Their ascension is already at like around five stars, uh, which means that you know 
espresso is already going to be having a ton of power so if you guys see that extremely high power then usually it's going to be someone like espresso uh, sometimes it can be clotted cream when it's around 1.2 million to 1.3 million so you guys do want to uh, watch out for that because clotted cream is actually going to melt our fitness here as well as caramel arrow because they are both utilizing something that is not full solid almond but in this case once again espresso was just able to get targeted by our eclair affogato as well as caramel arrow allowing caramel arrow to do a ton of damage but there you guys go a particular team i would say that is really good right now in countering that espresso that is going to be so strong inside of the arena you guys know how much damage and how much burst damage espresso is able to do so definitely recommend you guys trying this team out if you guys have alpha built out this is of course going to be more of a counter team so you guys definitely don't need to need to have this team built and of course just keep in mind not everyone's going to be able to build this team and not everyone is going to be able to build this team and not everyone's going to be able to build the teams that i share in my videos every single time that is the reason why you still need to focus on the team that you're able to build and really focus on one team that works for you and then start branching out to different comps you should not be trying to force yourself to build every single comp that i share with you guys these are tips and it is going to be optional and i really appreciate for the players who are actually commenting on my video and saying you know i can't build this team but i'll try it out whenever i can um you know or I can't build this team because I don't have this. Maybe I'll just keep using my, you know, normal speed comp or another meta comp. That is the best idea and that is going to be my suggestion for all of you guys. If you guys can't build it, just keep in mind that these teams are out there. And then, uh, you know, maybe you can adjust your current team accordingly so that you guys can uh, have the best result inside of the arena. Make sure to realize that there are a ton of different arena comps now. And those are all going to be meta if you guys are using particular cookies that are going to work together very very, very well anyways guys thanks for watching once again i hope you guys found the video helpful make sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the like button and also hit the notification bell so that you guys are notified whenever i drop another video or go live on youtube thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys all on the next one